Hi everybody, I figured I'd start this year's game room tour off in a more current gaming section of the house. So I'm down in the main living room and this is where I have the PlayStation 4 hooked up. I have the uh, upgraded hard drive on it to a 4 terabyte. Also I have the Retron hooked up here so I can play my more modern gaming with the uh, the Retron which is nice because you always want to play some of the older games on it. The uh, VR headset is also hooked up to it. There's the box. But it was one of the main things I needed to uh, have the camera there. So I had to keep it on basically a regular TV. So I hooked it up to this 55 inch and it seems to work out great. Keeps me pretty much stationary and that's where I hook up. Now these are also hooked up to a selector switch so I can play them on the other side of the room if so be or if I want to. Let's check it out. This is the other side of the living room where I have a big screen and all of the systems are hooked up to it. Sometimes I play games on it, mainly bought to uh, watch movies, but I do definitely game on it. I just played uh, Black for original Xbox. I brought down and I hooked that up to it, which was really, really cool to play in uh, such a big screen. But I usually just use it for movies. I have played some retro games on it, like running around with uh, Super Mario Brothers 3 was really cool on such a big screen. But let's move over to the uh, next thing in line. Here I have the Xbox One hooked up, the PlayStation 3, a couple Zelda Amiibos, I have the Wii U hooked up, the Switch, and they are all hooked up through an HDMI selector switch. So they are all also hooked up to the TV mounted on the wall. Everything is linked back and forth so I can play on either or depending on how you know I want to play. If I want to play on the big screen I'll do it. If not I'll just play on the regular but that's where I have all the more current systems hooked up at. A couple controllers in the drawer but that's this spot. Over in this dark little corner, I have my Disney Infinity collection. I have, I'm pretty sure the full set. The only ones I did not get were the, uh, I believe they were all Star Wars. They were the light effects ones. So that's the whole Disney set. I, I thought they were pretty cool. There's the Peter Pan, the crystals. Pirates of the Caribbean in the back there, all the Star Wars, Hero 6, Zootopias, the Mad Hatter, the Incredibles, Toy Stories, Guardians of the Galaxies, Cars, Finding Nemo, all the cool Marvel ones. And then I think the last one was Spider-Man. That was the last one I got to finish it off. I keep the VR headset up there in box. And then that was a item I got off of Insanity. It was, uh, I think it's Hunter Scriber giveaway. So I kept that out. But that's the Disney Infinity set. This room is my uh, pretty much a catch-all room. It's an office room that uh, pretty much I throw all my other things that I can't really fit in the game room. Like here's all my Nintendo powers. Issue 1 through 116, I believe I have. Uh, a whole bunch of strategy guides. That smaller stack over there, that one's games I don't have yet, but I do have strategy guides for, so I'm going to probably pick them up eventually. I got the uh, Rock Band drum set with the uh, cymbal upgrade and the double pedal. Then I got up on this shelf, that bag on the right is the Skylander ports, and then there's some PlayStation 3 stuff, a light gun, that bag is a Sega Genesis joystick. Then up on the top shelf we have DJ Hero, uh, an empty Retron 5 box, there's a couple light guns for the move for the PlayStation 3. And uh, over on this side, I have a couple guitars. This one is Guitar Hero Live for 
the 360. Those two Guitar Heroes for the PlayStation 2, those are my original ones. They have stickers all over them. They look horrible. And in the corner, I got a Xbox 360 steering wheel with a PlayStation 2 one. A couple of uh, light guns for PlayStation. Bags of controllers. Hair dryer I use to get some stickers off. Uh, here I have some cleaning supplies. Goo, or goo gone, some cans of air, Bright Boy, some alcohol, a JFJ cleaning machine, because I do have to clean some discs when I get them. Uh, Hako set that I use to uh, swap out batteries when need be, and uh, got some 72 pin connectors and stuff. And the last thing in this room would be on this wall, I have all of my guitars that if I do want to play I don't bother getting the ones out of the box I use these guitars so that is the other room off of the game room let's head on in there here we go guys here is my current game room and where I do almost all of my retro gaming Fire and Ice playing, a new uh, game that I've been playing a lot of lately, which I've had it for a while, but just haven't played it. Here's all my retro systems, the 360s, the GameCube, Sega 32X with the CD, and then I have all the other ones on the shelf down below. Love the 64 now that they have the Retro Fighters controller. Jaguar, I don't really use that too much. It's kind of just an oddity. But I have every one of them hooked up to an old CRT TV so that I can use the light gun on it. They're all hooked up through selector switches. Some are through the co-axle, which would be the, uh, I think, Master System is. So everything is hooked up to that TV except for the Wii and the 360. They are hooked up to the Samsung. Now the one thing I did notice with this is I have it set also up to record there with the Digit Now. And the one thing is the uh, light gun games, they don't seem to work right through a selector switch. So you actually have to plug it directly into the the, the uh, TV itself otherwise the gun just does not register but other than that the uh, they seem to work really well I've had them for a really long time uh, right above all that I have the Zelda headset unopened then I have my Intellivision and my Atari 5200 and the uh, Atari 2600 games don't really play much of them so they just sit up there there's also some uh, mega cd and a couple import games clock tower really cool game and then over here we have uh what i do have for playstation 4 basically it's almost all vr down to uh the switch which my buddy tommy has my zelda game and then I have a small library of Xbox One games. Don't modern game too much. I don't buy the games. At least until they get cheaper. Then I have some random Disney Infinity figures with some of the crystals. The bag that has all the platforms in it. Followed by my Saturn collection. Not much has changed with that. Uh, down to my Wii U collection. I got all the Skylander games for that, Zelda games, all the Disney Infinities, some more Disney Infinity. Down to the bottom shelf there is some Master System with uh, all my Game Boy stuff. There is a, a Game Boy bag I have that's old, but I do not use it. The uh, inside started to wear out on it, so I no longer use it. It was getting all over the uh, the games themselves. Next I have on this rack is all of my GameCube games. And I went and I got a small sports lot and I was able to 
change out whatever games were not in an original case, as long as it was the original artwork. Uh, I switched them around. And now I have uh, original cases for all of my GameCube games, which I'm really glad to have that, because for some reason I just like having them like that. Followed by the complete end of my Wii collection. That's where it had to funnel into. Then there is a couple Jaguar games at the bottom. We'll move right along over to where I keep the uh, rest of the Wii games and my original Xbox. We'll start up at the top here. Uh, 32X. All the things that are in here are now complete in box. So everything up there is complete. That's the uh, second player pink gun for the uh, Sega Genesis, which is really cool. I have that complete in box. And then we move down to my small Dreamcast collection. Which I love to play that every so often. That's a, that's a really cool system. Then they have uh, the original Xbox games, which this has uh, grown pretty big in the last year grabbed by the ghoulies I like the uh, Lord of the Rings games a lot so I have it on both systems PlayStation 2 and the original Xbox and I did get a bunch of these from video games monthly video games monthly did give me a lot of games through uh, pretty much a lot of the disc based Got some Infinity ones on that. I don't play much of the Wii anymore, but it is still fun to collect for. Spider-Man 3. And that's where they end at. Then I have, starting over here, I have all my complete in box. Nintendo stuff, Silent Scope, that's a Dreamcast light gun over there on the top, the bongos, I got rid of the uh, empty Jaguar box, the empty Sega CD box, Miracle Piano still in here, that's complete, Steel Battalion, that's complete in box, those are two little guns that you can use on the original Xbox, they're actually kind of neat. They're Berettas, and they uh, they have like a kickback on them, but I don't know how well they work. I still like the original guns better. Then I have the uh, crystal clear Xbox in that Xbox box right there. I don't really ever see any uh, crystal clear Xbox box onlys for sale. So then I have my subscription boxes hanging out on the top there. I found a uh, protective cover for this finally, which was cool. The, uh, the Xbox is complete in box. Then I have Ace Combat 6. That's complete in box. That's a really cool addition. And the Playstations are as well. And I even have the Lightspan Adventures. The school games. And then I have the Nintendo Collection. Nothing has really changed on any of that right there. Uh, maybe I did get another Tengen game, and I think that was, yep, that was Miss Pac-Man. I got that. I'm only missing Tetris for the uh, the Tengen games. Uh, down here is all of my hacks and homebrews. Most of these I got from uh, John Riggs, which was pretty cool. So most of them were the games he sent me in uh, the Patreon that I do for him. Next to that, I have the uh, Sega 32X. Don't have too many of the uh, more expensive titles. I'm not really pushing too hard for that. And there's the Sega collection. Uh, bags of memory cards, things like that. Then over on this wall, I have uh, all complete in box stuff over here as well. 
N64 steering wheel. The Donkey Kong set, I found a protector for that as well. That's the matching numbers on the unit and the box. That's really cool. That's the uh, Game Boy case that's falling apart on the inside. It's kind of sad because I really like that soft one. Game Gear. Got a couple Game Gears in there, a bunch of games. Then uh, my PlayStation 1. bunch of sports titles in there as well but a lot of goodies is that I like twisted metals and dooms now we're on to uh, the PlayStation 2's uh, Kingdom Hearts is sticking out I have that currently in the PlayStation 2 haven't played that mummy game yet I haven't tried it out Mega Man collection. There's those Lord of the Rings again. I like the Lego Star Wars a lot too. And this Tekken set has every one of the Tekken discs in it. And then it continues right into my PlayStation 3's. The Assassin Creed's. Saints Row. I have two of them. One is uh, unopened. Grand Theft Autos, Duke Nukem's, one of them is unopened as well, that's why there's two of them there. And then that leads into the 360's. Some more Assassin's Creed's. Bunch of the Kinect games right there. My buddy Tommy gave me that Dead Space 3. And some Disney Infinities, Fable, a bunch of FIFAs, all the Gears of War, and Lord of the Rings. I love that Middle Earth too. That's that's a great game. And then I got a bunch of sports, followed by a bunch of Resident Evils, and then there's a bunch of loose discs there at the end. So that's pretty much all the disc based of the more modern. And then we go up to the top here, and this is where my Sega CD is. All my 32Xs there were first. Night Trap. There's Final Fight. That's a great version. Really hard, but really, really good version. Mortal Kombat. There's a regular Night Trap. Sonic CD is a really good one. WWF I got that from retro game treasures and we can move into my Super Nintendo games and a lot of them I have like a hundred at least a hundred plus per system except for most of the oddity ones Mortal Kombat Magical Quest starring Mickey Mouse. That's sticking out a little bit. I was just playing that recently. Some days I'll just come in and I'll start grabbing games and I'll just grab random ones and play. And grab another random one. Play till I'm out of guys and then just pick another game. Castlevania. Super Bomberman. Super Pinball. Super Punch Out. And then of course you gotta have the Star Wars. Street Fighter has a collector's edition one that they released and down there we got Zombies Ate My Neighbors Wolfenstein Tournament Fighters Toy Story and Vortex and then we'll move over to the 64, which is the, the next thing that I'd like to, to complete. I do have some things coming up i got to take care of, so it's going to have to be put on hold. But this is where I'm currently at now. I believe 186 I'm on. Bottom of the ninth. Conker's Bad Fur Day. Dark Rift. Diddy Kong Racing is a good game. Excite Bike 64. There's both of those Elmo games. Earthworm Jim's a cool game. Donkey Kong. 
Pole Position, just got that one. FIFA 99, I just got two. Fighters Destiny 2, F-Zero X. Gauntlet Legends, I love that game. Gex games are pretty good too. Hexen's a good game. Indiana Jones is a pretty cool game too. Zelda. Kirby's cool. Don't do most of the, the racing games. That's why the steering wheel up top isn't even open. Mario Golf's a great game. Mario Kart 64 is a great game. Mortal Kombat Trilogy is really good. And there's that horrible Sub-Zero one. And some Mario Parties. And go down there. A whole bunch of sports. Lots and lots of sports. And more sports. And Paperboy. Rampage is a really cool. Quakes are really cool. I got Quest 64. And Rayman 2, Resident Evil 2, which is like the, the cheapest Resident Evil 2 you can buy is on uh, 64, I think. Smash Brothers, StarCraft. I'm missing one Star Wars. Gotta have Tigger's Honey Hunt. There's the Beast Wars one. I just got that one. And there's another Turok down there. They're great games. So much easier to play now with the Retro Fighters controller. There those are. And then there's a Zelda in here. And a Castlevania. And those are the other box ones I have. The Mayhem and the Shadow Man. But that is where I am currently gaming. And how I'm gaming. So this is my 2019 Game Room Tour. I hope you've all enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.